We are live here from Bev Francis Powerhouse Gym with Sadiq Azovic and Mike Camp. Good morning, guys. What's up, guys? Sadiq's doing chest and shoulders. Who do we have here? Conrad. There we go. Holy <laughs> kid. We're warming up, first exercise. Very sensitive. <laughs> well, thank you for 1,400 people jumping in right away. Oh, wow. Here we go. Man. No, I'm sorry, 1,500. Oh, 1,600. That's the deep. What's up, boys? Honestly. Thanks for tuning in, guys. We got chest and deltoids today. Um, we're over here at Beth Francis in Syosset, New York, one of the greatest gyms in the world, and we're getting ready for the Olympia. Yep, and we got a uh, training partner here, Conrad, on chest and shoulder day. <clears throat> We got Mike, the trainer, champions back here, and obviously Frank Seppi behind the camera today. And I must admit, I am the best camera person. <laughs> so we're warming up here with uh, incline dumbbell presses for chest. Keep that body weight. Sadiq always with his pre-workout. He never drinks water. Yeah, I never drink water. Why? Water is old technology. <laughs> so we're only drinking new technology over here. Go. Sadiq looking absolutely incredible. How many weeks you have? Uh, four weeks at the Pittsburgh Pro, six weeks at New York Pro, and then a hell of a long time before he went there. It's physique. Sadiq will be doing a men's physique. There we do. So, Mike, take us through this. How many sets are we doing for uh, inclined double presses? We're going to do 30s for 15, now we're going 50s for 10. So slow progression up, the first working set would be about 100 pound dumbbell. Mm -hmm. Looking for 10 reps with that. The max we're gonna try to hit today is to 120s for about five repetitions. Okay. We're jumping to 80. No, not yet. We're going on 70 minutes. Cool. What about you? We got body up. So again, we're a fly on the wall here. Beth Francis, real workouts, real time. Sadiq, get ready for the Pittsburgh Pro, New York Pro. Men's physique. Back in that physique, boys. As much as I want to be up there with Chris Bumstead and all the other guys in Classic, those boys are a little big, man. <laughs> Just a little big. Just a little big. Well, you know, you had Aaron Banks, who is my height. He's a big boy. He was 230 pounds. For the uh, when I saw him, yeah. I was like, "What do you weigh?" At the I think it was the Arnold. Yeah, yeah. Because we're the same he's height, same boy. weight. Yeah, it's hard to tell. But compared to Chris, oh. you know, Chris is different. See so, how the weight's distributed. Let's get to that Here we go. Yeah, you could shout out to what country you're from. Let us know where you are. Where you're watching from. Here we go. Mike, how often do they train chest in... Um... So we do primary chest movement on Monday, on Tuesdays. Mm -hmm. This is our secondary, kind of fill things in a little more. When we first started the preparation, we saw his chest could come up a lot more. So that was our focus here twice a week. We can get more volume on Tuesdays, less volume today on Friday. Good. How many Olympias have you won, Mike, uh, training-wise? Uh, we haven't won yet, hopefully this year. No, no, how many Olympics have you won training people? Oh, well, um, with uh, Juliana and Kevin, so that's three or four, so eight. Eight Olympias, all right, so we got to train here as one eight Olympias, all right. Oh, it's uh, 90? Uh, 90 would be great. Just trying to give you a shout out, Mike. Thanks, I appreciate that. <laughs> Here we go. You already mecca with the 150s to 200 pound dumbbells. <laughs> Set, okay. Set. So this is the first working set, 90 for 10, okay. Perfect. Sadiq, what's the current weight even now? My current weight, 210. 210. 210. What are you coming in at the... Uh... Probably around 210. Um, I still have some body fat to lose. So we'll strip down the body fat, gain muscle. Um, in the last four weeks, I gained four pounds of muscle and it went down six pounds of body fat. Mm -hmm. So if we keep that up for another four weeks, we'll be in good shape. What did you start your prep at? Uh, 210 also, but 210. I was 210, but the body composition was softer. I was skinny fat. And now I'm pretty big and ripped, if I would say so myself. 
just goes to show you how many times people are like, well, you don't have to go up to 250 pounds and cut it to 205. Like, Great point, Frank. Kevin exactly. Lavroni was one of the guys who did that. He grew into the show or remained the same. I think just people just thing. use this excuse to bulk so they can eat shit foods. Yeah. So he proved it in the past. Did we do three pounds of muscle in like 10 weeks? Four pounds. Four pounds yeah. in 10 weeks. That's phenomenal. That was funny because in the Stone Age when I competed, I was 270 when I started my prep. 14 weeks out, and I was 265 on stage. It just goes to show you, you wow. change your body composition. Yeah, well, all the greats do it. Phil Heath, yep. Dexter Jackson, Kevin Lebroni. These guys don't get tremendous on the off season. In fact, they take one step backwards, take two steps forward. And there are also people with the most longevity in the sport as well. Here we go. Sadiq Hazelbeck at the Bev Francis Powerhouse Gym in Syosset. Getting ready for Pittsburgh Pro. Join us on Olympia Instagram Live. Trainer of Champions, Mike, who's been to the, the promised land, the pinnacle, the Olympia eight victories, Mike. <laughs> hey, I've been there too, you know? Like just a couple runner-ups and a couple of bronzes. Mike started his uh, Mike started his Mickey, and then he became a Freddie Roach. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's great. I like that comparison. Here we go. Come on, Conrad. <laughs> so, Come on. hundreds. As you guys probably notice, we um turkey in the house what's up as you guys notice we move relatively fast um we're we're almost done with our first exercise and people are still warming up so we take 30 seconds rest in between sets uh, we don't take an hour and a half two hours <laughs> or rather minutes so he so goes he goes you go he goes you exactly. goes that's why sometimes i like training with a partner yeah. normally i don't but i like the pace yeah. of you know I think ideal should be like a rest between like a minute and a minute and a half. Yeah, he so, said. Especially if you're going heavy, you want to get a little bit of recovery, obviously, in your body. So, if he could fly himself, I put a timer on him. So, he's at, oh, yeah, if he couldn't hear that, he uses a timer with Sadiq if he doesn't have a partner for a minute, minute and a half. I have my ways. <laughs> I'll tie my shoelace, <laughs> take a phone call. That was Kevin English's big thing. <laughs> Kevin, love Kevin. I just spoke to Kevin at the counter. He is the slowest person <laughs> when it comes to riding bikes. Or <laughs> Four weeks out, Pittsburgh Pro. Hundred pound incline. How do you think Sadiq looks right now? Amazing, amazing, unreal, unreal. Yeah. 5D, not even 3D. <laughs> 5D, 5D. 5D. I'll take your camera so you can see it. Is that like 8K? Yeah. <laughs> That's where everybody's like, you shooting 8K? I'm like, yeah, but Instagram's really. <laughs> yeah. Isn't up to the technology yet. Camera one ten. It like lowers the quality. Yeah. yeah. And it takes 75 hours to upload. <laughs> Bro, if you go 120s, go 125. Go 110 right here. <laughs> flew in for this workout straight from Poland. We had to pick him up from JFK. So it's got to be JFK and he's here. Since the last time I saw him, it was really it was improved. Look good, Conrad. Yeah. He's training with the best. I looked like a slug last time. Nah. <laughs> Come on, Come on baby. Let's go. Come on. Nice. Good job, Connor. Yes, very best scoliosis. He's overcome a lot of long back issues for over the past couple of years, so. so you broke my hand. Hand. Oh, yeah. My finger's broken. Really? Motorcycle accident. I wasn't going to ask. I should have seen the other guy. Yeah, I wasn't going to ask. I think that's bad. I had scoliosis too. 
The doctor at 13 gave me exercises. I went and got a muscle and fitness. No, it was a Flex magazine and started lifting weights and never had a problem power, again. Power of exercise. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Everyone looks for drugs and surgery. No. Fucking fix you with exercise. It's crazy. Gotta let off some gas. Someone asked, what did you have for breakfast before you trained? Uh, seven egg whites, one whole egg, and uh, three packets of grits, which is 75 grams of grits. Grits. Ronnie Coleman style. People ask me all the time, why do I eat grits? It's like my 85-year-old grandfather. Yeah, have you ever heard of Ronnie Coleman? <laughs> yeah, grits. Oh, forget it. You're better off buying chickens. Yeah, exactly. Grits. What's that, 75 carbs in that? 75, yeah. Is that, uh, I remember, yeah. Is that cream of wheat? Or is it, remember that? Cream of wheat? <laughs> that was actually good shit. Yeah. My grandfather would have cream of wheat with a, with a Sanka. Farina. <laughs> Farina, that's it. Yeah, with a Sanka. <laughs> My boy still drinks Sanka. We'll make fun of him. Mikey Sanka. Mikey Sanka. <laughs> Come on. Third set. Push up. Third set. Two. Get rid of Three, two more. Push through, all you. Come on. There you go. Come on, Sadiq Jimmy Chong says. Love cream of wheat, bro. Three packets? <laughs> Whoa. All right, four or five. The first exercise we're going heavy. Yep. The second one we're gonna change up and go a little more rep range between all repetitions. We'll incorporate a little bit of four sets, four to negative sets, and then do that. Ready? All the nutrition coaches out there said three packets too much. <laughs> Thank you. I'll remember that next time you're on Olympia stage. <laughs> <laughs> next time I wanna get small. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Rocket. I'm sorry. Are you though? <laughs> Come on. Let's go. Come on. Push, push, push. You got two now. Come on. This is my nature to join in here. Let's go. Good. One more control. Everything you got. Let's go. Everything you got. <laughs> All you, Conrad. Second place is the first loser, Conrad. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get a special invite this year to the Olympia. Late entry special invite. Due to conditions in this country in Poland, he has got visa problems. But he's coming. He's it's coming. To stay now until the Olympia. Yeah. I got a guess. Already on the run. All right, we got a buck twenty here. Last set. Last set. Five reps. Five yeah. reps. Pre-contest. I think we'll take the shirt off after this one. Shirt's coming off after this. I take donations. <laughs> you can pay pal me. The shirt's not for sale, no. I got the zip off. No, no. No, the hat, the shirt is staying here in New York. That's <laughs> right. Four, five, and five. Let's go. Come on. Nice and strong. Stay in the table. Drive up. Come on. Strong. Come on. Nice. Woo. Wow. That was heavy. That's pretty heavy for four weeks out. It's I'm not Ronnie Coleman after all. It's 7.30 in the morning also. Exactly. Yeah. Look, Sadiq's putting his own weights away. He doesn't have a guy. <laughs> I'm humble. Yeah. I'm a man of the people. <laughs> you know, it's funny. I'm not going to tell you, but there was a guy. What's up? There was a guy uh, uh, that we shot, and he hired yeah. a guy to, train, to take all his plates off the leg press. Damn. I'm like, all How right. How much do you get paid for that? I don't know. But he didn't win. <laughs> per, plate, per plate. Per plate, yeah. 
Here we go. So the slower you walk, is, uh, the more presence you have. So on camera, you always walk slow. It's like a but Quentin, have you sat. Like a Quentin Tarantino movie? Yeah, you yeah, do yeah. everything in slow-mo? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so you see all the toys here at uh, Ben Francis Powerhouse Gym. Wall-to-wall -wall equipment. Just an incredible amount of, of variety here. You know, even equipment from the 90s and then all brand new, really great equipment. So you get a good, a good variety. And this whole room back here is dedicated primarily to legs. So you never have an excuse to miss a leg day at this gym. No, and also... All legs. You got to do leg extensions. You got six leg extensions. Yeah. Hack squats, multiple. So, Conrad starting off. Got a full range of jumps. Ten reps. We're gonna slow down. We're gonna hold that contraction pose. Are you competing? Yes, he's competing in the Pittsburgh Pro. Four weeks. Four weeks. New York Pro in six weeks. New York, right? Olympia in December. He only competes in a radius of 100 miles from his home. No, yeah, I'm joking. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I like to take three years off between shows, in case you guys were wondering. <laughs> so every show, I like a three-year, uh, you know, right <laughs> He's been off-season for three years. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mike, so what's the... Uh, All right, so now we're going to go a little more rep range. Like I said, the first exercise was heavy. Let's score about four to five repetitions. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to line up the weight, go between eight and 12. We're going to slow down our tempo, and we're going to make sure we hold the contraction for about two to three seconds. Good. Any reason we're using this particular machine? Um, no, just no. different angle. Different angle? Yeah. Like you, like you guys said, you know, we have so many good pieces of machine here, we try to vary it like we work out. Yeah. So. You can't go wrong. No, no, no. <laughs> this is one of the old school bed machines. Yeah, I believe Dorian Yates used this for the uh, 93 <laughs> Olympia. I'm not even joking. And then right next to it, you got some of the, the newer technology as well. Now, there's a few things to keep in mind if you have a hard time growing your chest. There's a checklist that I have in my head. I think about full range of motion, which means going all the way down, stretching, all the way back up. There's also, not only full range of motion, but retracting your shoulder blades back and down. This way you target more chest and less deltoids. You focus on those two things, your chest will grow. Nice. I think, uh, where's your drink? Oh, there's your water. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. It ain't water, bro. <laughs> BCA. <laughs> Are you excited? The Olympia's back in Vegas this year? I'm excited for the new venue, too, yeah. You know, I mean. Planet Hollywood, correct? Yes, I'm very excited for the Olympia and yeah. all the things that we have in store for it. It's yeah. going to be huge. Not because we're on the Olympia channel, but Dan Solomon did a great job. So, Absolutely. Uh, yeah, he's doing a great job as a leader. And, yeah, shout out Dan Solomon. I'm always, very impressed. Always upgrading and, uh, you know, leveling up, which is important for the greatest show in uh, bodybuilding. Yeah, I didn't know him prior to this, but he, uh, he quickly earned my respect. Now I'll be good. Let's go. Perfect form. Yes, yeah, shout out your questions. Go ahead. We are at Bev Francis Powerhouse Gym. Sadiq is four weeks out from the Pittsburgh Pro in men's physique. I'm going up. I'm actually the same weight. So when I got third place at the Olympia in Classic Physique, I was 210. I'm actually still 210, but smaller waist and a little more density because I'm a little older, so I matured a bit more. 
So I'm very excited to bring what I'm bringing. What year did you win the Arnold uh, Men's Physique? Um, the first year. I think that was 215 or 15? 2016. Um, then I went up the next year to get runner-up at the Olympia. Right. And then I went to Classic and I got third. And then uh, 2017, I got sixth in Classic. That's when I decided, all right, to go back in this direction, men's physique. Come on, Kyra. Scoop. Come on. He said one more, but he said one more like five times. I can't How many count. more? How many more ones can I do? I can't count. Saying spent uno mas. <laughs> one more. It's like when you have a certain amount of repetitions per set, but you get there, you gotta push yourself, right? Absolutely. So. You know what? Every time you think you have the answer, Mike changes the question. Close to some dirty in the morning. Right. That's, true. That's what keeps you going. Keeps you guessing. What was that? The Joe? What? Which Joe Weider principle was that? <laughs> Number I forgot. three. I forgot that one. Yeah. Joe Weider something principle. I forgot. I used to know them all. Uh. This is the time the train. Though it's not that crowded. It's seven thirty. I love this crowd. By eleven o'clock. By eleven o'clock, people are setting up tripods. Monday through Friday is good. Yeah. I get Saturday. <laughs> no. <They're all> good. <laughs> Saturday, you got the powerlifting guys in here. Saturday, you need safety cones. Let's go, Sadiq. Hello from Brazil. Yeah, Sadiq has a back here. Push. Here we go. Yep. We got a Sadiq. We got a lot of Sadiq. Is my all-time fave. Thank you. Thanks for the support, guys. Yes. It's uh, it's not easy to do this. So when you have the support of the people. It makes it worth a while. Let me ask you something. Do you think now also, and I was just thinking about this, you get in amazing shape, which you will get in incredible yeah. contest shape. Regardless, yeah. you will be yeah. at your all-time best. Yeah. Whether you win or you're not, whether you win or not, and obviously you want to win, you win. You know what yeah. I mean? Because you have so many people who look up yeah. to you, so many followers and everything yeah. else. Um, it's a win-win situation, yeah. but you know, sometimes when you're prepping for a show, uh, you have to visualize the win every day. So yeah. you actually, you feel like the champion, you're training like the champion, you are the champion. And sometimes when you aren't awarded that gold medal, it's kind of like, whoa, what world is this? So it's a double-edged sword. Sometimes losing can be the worst thing in the world. And sometimes losing, you can find value in losing. Mm -hmm. Like, hey, I got a great shape. Uh, inspired a lot of fans. It was good for my businesses. But... We all want to fucking win, yeah. so you know it's it's great to think that way. But I'm trying to be number one. Drop, side, drop, take that plate. Yeah, right. Drop set here. See, I didn't see you do a drop set. <laughs> He's saving it for me. <laughs> drop set next. <laughs> Oh, baby. Big chest. Nice. Fuck. Shit. Let's go one plate. <laughs> Drop set, force negative. Three. We're going to say it's 315 or whatever. Three plates on each side. Could be more. 
Perfect. Say that again, Mike. So we want to make sure when he's doing the resistance and pushing against him, he's contracting still through his chest, not just trying to fight with his arms. Sure. Which is a mistake a lot of guys make. Always give attention to the muscle. Yes, I am manning the camera. Yes, that is me behind the camera. Yep. <laughs> Make sure that's your question. Take that plane off. So last set. I was gonna say, the shirt's coming off soon after the set. I promise. How many viewers do you have? On right now, 900. Maybe we'll get to 1100. <laughs> Can't go wrong with the old school Bev's logo. Whoa, baby. What? Life is good, man. I'm happy to be back on stage, guys. Very happy. For a long time, I didn't feel like myself. So for those of you that are asking why I took some time off stage, um, me and my wife, we were having fertility issues, trying to have baby, trying to have baby, trying to have baby. So it took longer than expected. Um, now that my son is seven months old, I can come back to doing what I love. And I feel great about it. And he's gonna be a Mr. Olympia one day because this dude is crazy strong. <laughs> Yep, you could comment on how he looks. Somebody said, nice. Oh, baby. Thank you, brother. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Here we go in third chest exercise. You're in the Bev's corner right now. This is one of the most, that used to be a bench press over there. This used to be one of the most popular corners. Yeah. And people used to do photo shoots over here because it was out of the way. It used to be five bench presses. Yeah. Now you see how it changed the dynamic of the entire gym. And it used to be like beige, beige or tan. It was like a cream color. So now moving on to deep line hand press. Deep line hammer. up the chest. Like the Charles Glass, five sets of flat bench, five sets of <laughs> incline press, five sets hey, of decline. Works for some guys, right? And five sets of... A lot of volume. I'm not a big volume guy. This is yeah for so 12, 12 to 86. Quality, quality, right? Did that forever, yeah. You did the five by five? Five exercises, five pyramids. Yeah. Then two isolation Come movements, yeah. Push. Come on. Nice. <laughs> I think you try every routine and see it works for yourself. Exactly. Great point. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Absolutely. Yep. Whatever he's doing is working for him. Whatever routine. <laughs> now, did Kevin English move this fast? 
Eventually, he came up through the pace. He did. Did he? Yeah. It took about a year. How much, co- how much coffee did you have to give Kevin? <laughs> a lot. More like a Snickers bar. A Snickers. And the Lana's cookies. Yeah, exactly. And a ribeye. <laughs> a ribeye. Kevin had a sweet tooth. A big candy guy. But now he does a ribeye at 6 a.m. 6 <laughs> Yeah, from the diner. <laughs> <laughs> it's like my father. What are you getting, Dad? Fish from the diner? <laughs> I'm infamous for ordering the wrong stuff at restaurants. <laughs> I always get like a weird thing. You're supposed to order three things at a diner: pancakes, a cheeseburger, or yeah. egg whites. You don't, or a Greek salad. You don't yeah. order anything else. Hamburger deluxe. <laughs> That's it. Hamburger deluxe, bro. With a coleslaw and a pickle. <laughs> I think in other states they don't have coleslaw. On the you never eat that little coleslaw. You, they just keep. No one eats I don't that. Know why they're giving it to us? Why are they giving it to us? So we go to Brian and Cooper, and my boy gets the halibut. It sucks. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> Seventy dollars later. Yeah. Uh, the so halibut. The fucking halibut. Hold on. Second set. You got four. Cross over the fine. Cross over the fine. Let's go. One more. Good. Wow. I don't know what to do with my face when I'm being recorded. Do I close Just eyes? close your eyes. Do I keep my eyes open? That's what you said. Fix it. <laughs> Just gonna smile the whole way through. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm not here. I'm a fly on the wall. <laughs> Actually, lighting's pretty good over here. Not bad. I've been working out. Yeah. I like when people ask me if I work out. I just said I do a lot of yoga. Well, they ask you to work out, and they like, have a cousin who's a little bit bigger than you. <laughs> <laughs> So who are you guys liking for open bodybuilding this year? Let us know in the comments. I want to hear some of your predictions for open bodybuilding. Will Big Rummy defend and reigning? Will he become the reigning Miss Olympia champion? Yeah, let's see. Who do you like for open bodybuilding to win the Olympia this year? Who do we want? Who do we want on stage? Do we want Rami? Is it Brandon Curry? Is it going to be Nick Walker? Walker? And you also have Hunter Liberato. Hunter Labrada, sure. Hadi Chopin. How many Hadi Chopin fans out there? Brandon Curry. Brandon Curry, of course. William Bonac. Bonac, Roly. Got a lot of good guys coming up. Rami. Rami. We got a lot of Rami comments. Yeah, a lot of Rami. A lot of Ramis. Rami. Rami is like one of the most, <laughs> one of the most lovable, <laughs> lovable bodybuilders that I've ever met. Such a good guy. Come on, 8 to 10. Rami. Rami. <laughs> All right, so Rami. <laughs> All right. Come on, come on. Come on. You got three. Curry, Curry, Hadi, Rami, Curry, Hadi, got Hadi. I got it. Nick, right, chest, chest. on the shoulders. On the shoulders. Okay, Mike. So recap: we did three chest exercises, yeah, right? So we started with dumbbell incline press. We kept it heavy between like four to five repetitions. We moved on to a machine press. Kept it up around eight to twelve, but of course negative. Then we did a final exercise, deep line motion, same around ten repetitions. And this was the second chest exercise, yes, chest routine. First, first session was on Tuesday. Okay. All right. On to shoulders. Rami. Rami. <laughs> All right, you guys love Rami. Everybody loves Rami. Hadi Chopin. Sadiq, are you fasting? Someone asked. Not this year, brother. Allah forgive me, but not this year. I got a show to win. Not this year, he said. Walking through the legendary 
Bev Francis, Powerhouse Gym. No break in between, oh, right? Now let's keep going. The break was from the walk over here. <laughs> we did trash in about 30 minutes. 30 minutes? Deal? We're going to like kill it today? The shoulders? Like, yeah, how oh, are we going to reps or, or wait? First one's going to keep it. I'm doing back and buys at nine. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> oh, yeah. But I'm training like you. I'm going easy. I'm training with my girlfriend, so. <laughs> Even better. <laughs> Now his form is kind of going out. Back. His form is a little bit off because he broke his hand. So what happens if he teases out and holding the dumbbell? He starts to kind of struggle. It sucks, but it's what he needs to do. So. Gotcha. So right now he's got good form. Let's see if he changes it. Hopefully not. Chris Bumster's not in the open. We said the men's bodybuilding open. Yes, keep your questions coming. If you have any questions about the routine, let us know. Yeah, that's it. Nice. Now it's great for 70 to press. And our shoulder press is going to be on like a 75 degree angle. Not completely upright. You can tie it in with the chest as well. Okay. Come on, guys. Sadiq's over there pacing like an expected father, ready for his next set. <laughs> Anticipating. I'm gonna bust out some uh, push-ups over there. Oh, my <laughs> see that? Look at that landing. You couldn't do that if you tried 50 nope. times. Nope. That's like when a quarter lands on its. Oh yeah. <laughs> on its fucking yeah, apex. Yeah, <laughs> Thank you. I was looking for the right word. Here we go. Yep. They started with uh, chest. Chest was for a ha half hour. Now they're into shoulders. Mike, how much cardio is Sadiq? Someone asked. He's doing about four or five minutes now. Four or five days a week, Sadiq's doing cardio about 30, 35 minutes. Nice. No cardio. I was born this way. You see how he's slowly kicking it to get that extra rest? And Mike's getting pissed over here. <laughs> he just no. fi he fixed the tank top. Wait, I think he's going <laughs> to... Yes. That's why he's ripped. He's burning fat. Putting his own weight to it. Come on, Sadiq. Two more. One more. One more. Good job. Wow. Good set. Hold shoulders. Uh, can we adjust the seat to be higher? No. <laughs> You'll never get this chance again, Louie. Really. <laughs> Can't make anyone happy. You gotta win small battles, man. <laughs> this is what it's like to be from New York. We don't sugarcoat anything. No. It is what it is. Can we do this? No. Yes. No. And you know what? You don't expect it. There's no why. You just take the no. Yeah. And move on. What's the point of complaining? I remember saying why to my trainer back in the day, and he'd be like, if I have to answer you, get the hell out of here. I'm like, okay. Trust the process. That's right. Conrad's up. Yeah. 
Laterals into presses. I like this. I like this routine. Thank you. When my elbow is fixed, that doesn't hurt. Yeah, it's all for the shit elbow. The magic is working. Oh, we're treating Conrad's elbow from his hand. He's trying to put a lot of elbow kind of nice. He's coming for a couple of treatments. With the range of motion, the pain has gone less. It's not less. The range of motion is improved, the pain is less. You'll get no sympathy from Instagram people. Broken hand, they're like, bro, I broke my shoulder, leg, foot, and I'm, and I'm, run, I'm swimming the English Channel. <laughs> Whoa! That's the way it is. I always get oh, people fuck. DM me medical advice. Yeah. Brother, I have a slipped disc in my lower back. I say, consult the doctor. Okay. But they don't, they don't accept that as an example or an answer when you say consult the doctor. No. I'm the doctor, apparently. <laughs> Ask your favorite bodybuilder. He's the doctor. He's the real doctor. He's the real doctor. I remember doing a uh, contest for Metrics on was trained with me in New York City, and the client that won had metal rods in their in their back, neck, everything else. So I made them bring a doctor with them to train that person. So yeah, if you're seeking any medical advice, please go to a doctor. Here we go. Starting off the laterals. Nice. He said 15, but that was 16. 70, 25, 25. That one extra might put you over the top to <laughs> second to first place. <laughs> Gentlemen, quarter turn to the side. Set one more Look rep. <laughs> he must have did that one more rep. <laughs> wow. Alright. Oh. Hat smells real white today, sir. Huh? Your hat smells real white. Sorry. <laughs> Make the East Coast smack up. Thank you. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> Apparently, Sadiq's hat wasn't uh, fresh this morning. It wasn't apparent. Let's go. No, the hat's not for sale. Go on, Sadiq. You got three. Stable. Frank, tell Sadiq this is serious. Sadiq, this is serious. <laughs> This is serious. This is not for kids. <laughs> this is trained professionals. I have a pro card, but I have to renew. Oh, I hit a JM. And they're like, when's the last time your pro card was renewed? And I said, oh, I owe you guys some money, don't I? <laughs> Does anyone out there want to donate any money to Sadiq to buy a pro card? Registration. <laughs> okay. Just go fund me. <laughs> Oh. You should have plugged your bar. Your bar is phenomenal. Oh, it's amazing. Amazing. The new bar. You, you guys, it's not a paid advertisement, but if you guys want to check out my protein bar, I made a protein bar that you can eat on prep. It's made out of Whole Foods. Phenomenal. It's Chef Physique. So Chef.Physique on Instagram. And uh, there's a link in the bio. You can pick up a pack of 24. Mm. Nice. I'll bring you some. What flavors we have here? Chocolate chip cookie dough is the new launch. People are going crazy about it. I hate bars, and this is really good. What's the nutritional breakdown on the bar? 240 calories, 18 grams of protein, um, 9 grams of sugar, but only from honey. Um, all the ingredients are oatmeal, whey protein, almond butter, honey, and vitamin E. So all natural, all real foods, no junk, no preservatives. Chef Physique protein bars. Very good. Yeah. Very all right. good. Check them out. Check them out. Check them out. Check them out. I don't know how fun the registration would be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you sell, yeah, if you sell enough bars, you'll, you'll be good. <laughs> I'm just joking. He's all I'm good. Joking. He's all good. I'm joking. <laughs> but they're right. I haven't paid in a long time, so I gotta get up there. Feels good to be back, boys. 
Really that is good. funny, right? Like you got to compete, and you think you forget about the small things like yeah, right. registration and tan. Of course, yeah. Competing trunks, flight hotel. Yeah. You know? yeah. You're not going nude. <laughs> <laughs> nah. <laughs> what kind of what kind of uh, board shorts are we gonna crank wear here? Crank out? Or is this like a Bedazzled. sponsor? Bedazzled. Like a bedazzle. <laughs> <laughs> I can train anyway. Are you coming out with like the uh, Rocky Three American, American flag? You to come out I'll with? Come out of the Polish flag. What do you want? Thirty. What are we doing for this? Twenty-five. Twenty-five. Okay, favorite exercise. This is too far. No, not today. Because this thing is wobbling. Just with the rest of it. Okay. Are you superstitious? Will you wear the trunks you wore for the Arnold Classic and you won? Nah, I won't, bro. No? My legs have grown so much since then. Uh, so I'm using like a Chula Wear. Chula Wear is one of the brands that a lot of people are wearing. Okay. Um, I'm actually in the process of R&D my own shorts, but they're not perfect yet. First one to run lunch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's watching the clock. It was my stinky hat. There's that. <laughs> that has been with me through many workouts. Is it bothering you? No. No, then wear because it. he's the one spotting me. <laughs> so his head is up here next to the hat. Just get a $2 can of Febreze. Yeah, right. <laughs> Don't wash it because it'll kill it. Yeah. It'll kill the fit. You'll never fit right again. Well, like any single guys, good advice to single guys is like, women like the man smell. So, you don't want to smell like a flower or like a air, like a car freshener. You want to smell like a man. Coming soon. The a S little bit of Axe spray and then some BO, woman. <laughs> Love that. The, the essence of Sadiq. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll call it Zadiq with a Z. Z Zadiq. Zadiq. Zadik, it's uh, well, European. Well, do it, Sadiq backwards. Kidas. 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 The commercial? Maybe we can hire you for commercial. That's right. Good fragrance, Mike. All right. Let's put these weights away. There goes Mike. Going into the side. Laterals. Leaning lateral raise is next. I like this motion because it takes out one of the rotator cuff muscles, such as the so it puts the stress primarily on the side belt. I like it. Hmm. And you can't go particularly heavy here, right? It's no, like it the most. Like, the motion. What do you do rep wise here, Mike? 12 to 15 open. 12 to 15. I heard his hands. Look at the bad hands. Feel bad, bad for me. Feel bad for me. Feel bad for me. <laughs> <laughs> Conrad's like 6'4", 260, 70 pounds. 288, yeah. Nobody feels bad for you. It's my favorite exercise. Is it? No. It's my least favorite. So we're doing a leaning side lateral. So leaning means 
we're not staring straight, we're actually <laughs> leaning. So leaning into it. Will somebody come to this machine and ask you if you're using it? <laughs> I just well, I don't know. It's Kevin right here. Kevin. Kevin. Where's the Linus cook? I was just talking. Kevin, come here. We're just talking about you. Sadiq's in his set. It's Kevin English. 202 Olympia. Three time. Three time. We're talking about, I said, is there any bodybuilder who is slower in between sets and cardio? The what? Kevin English. <laughs> Kevin's making a comeback. <laughs> Never. <laughs> Oh. Come on. Nice. Good. That's the 30 and the 25. 25. I'm going to do that. Okay. The weights are real. Does I somebody... don't know how you guys are just going to diss my boy on camera like that. No, we love Conrad. Oh, my boy, Conrad. Bro. Conrad or? <laughs> or... <laughs> no, we love Kevin. Listen, everybody. One guy on YouTube asked if Conrad was my dad. He's like, he's in really good shape. Is that your dad? I was like, I wish. I wish. Oh my gosh. He's many people's dads. He's just not mine. He's just not mine. You know what? I never put that together. I didn't, I didn't even think he's that old. YouTube is a different, YouTube is a different place. TikTok is the worst. Whoa. For three comments. million views, bro. <laughs> it's not the three million views; it's the ten thousand comments that you have to read. Oh, God. oh my god! But thank you to TikTok. I have uh, seven hundred new clients through TikTok. <laughs> thank you very much. <laughs> All right, here we go. This is the second time I've seen this exercise this week. We had um, Arash. Rabah was doing this exercise. And I haven't seen it in a long time. Phenomenal. Yeah. The basics always come back and work phenomenal. Yep. It's good. Oh. Good pause. Good pause. Yeah. Good set. Wow. Bro, you? Good morning, brother. Good to see you. I think the last part about doing this is... You can see the fingers are turning white, right? Yeah. Like, yeah. Second hardest part about this motion is driving home afterwards. You can't lift your belt. You can't grab the steering wheel. You need the uh, self-driving Tesla. Oh, no. That's, that's which, scary. Which, uh, what was that with Juan Morel in yeah. his car? And it took us about four minutes to make a right turn because every time a car came, the Tesla oh, really? wouldn't turn right. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's very, I don't know if they have to work out the kinks. Oh, come on, Elon. <laughs> Like, uh, Twitter now, right? Uh, yeah, like 8 million shares or something. Now, the question is, will we reinstate Donald Trump, right? We can't speak about this. <laughs> 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 the Olympia channel is, the Olympia channel is non, non political. I want to send you the black Conrad's got the, the good kicks on. Check out Conrad's kicks. Yeah, Metcon, baby. Metcons, those are good. They call Conrad. So I like the fact that Sadiq trains with somebody much taller and bigger than him to kind of, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I just like training with somebody. Sometimes it well, brings the heat. It motivates, but not only motivates, it keeps the mood lighter because. Let's face it, we're dieting, we're cranky. You know, yeah. if somebody is here to go through it, misery loves company. And I like to see Conrad miserable with me. Yes. So. Conrad's always upbeat. He's always upbeat, so he's I'm chipper. 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 I remember training with... He's fogging up. <laughs> you know what? I remember training with somebody who's probably about five... I'm not going to say who he is, but he's about five five. And uh, 
way stronger than me. But never showered, <laughs> smoked cigarettes, and drank a large cup of coffee. Threw the cigarette out as he walked through the gym. And that first couple of sets when you're bench pressing and breathing in and out, that was the end of the training partnership. <laughs> I used to have a training partner, <laughs> Vlad. And the first week Vlad was training with me, remember when he's like, this is disgusting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He sweats everywhere. And then like during the set, he's like, you ever heard of a towel? And I'm like, sorry, bro. Well, that's also two, two weeks into a prep when you are a little gassy. Yeah, yeah. You know, and uh, I, every day. <laughs> I, don't, I never have gas. <laughs> got seven egg whites and three packets of grits. Not gassy at all. Was there a Splendor or a Stevie in it? No. No. Okay. Old school. Wow. It's like eating spackle. Come on, 15. 15. I only did 10 on the other side. How am I gonna do five more on this side? You gotta push. He wants one big delt, one small delt. I want two big delts. <laughs> Putting his weights away. Very delicate process. You never know where the weights go because there's two places for it. To left, to left. To left. My other left. You can't go wrong as long as you put them away, right? You don't want to get yelled at. Oh. You want to have good gym etiquette. If you fart, go to your designated farting area. Don't fart near the people. Okay? It's good you advice. Don't fart near the people. <laughs> Or near your gym crush, or you know? The, your gym crush. <laughs> You're like, what's that smell? Or blame somebody else yeah, yeah. in the area. Yeah. Good morning. What do you want from here, 30? Bend over? Yeah, yeah 30 school. How's everything? Here we go. Good. Feel good. Yeah, I feel good. I've been dieting a lot. <laughs> Yeah, thank you. Conrad, right here. Yeah. Hey, laterals. 15 and Conrad. Yeah. Someone wants to know what kind of glasses Conrad's wearing. Prada. Prada. Prada glasses. Listen, just answering the questions. <laughs> Promo code Conrad. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this way? Bent over, your belts. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is a great superset here. The C counter, come on. The latest trend that since well, I've trained about six or seven different people in the last couple of weeks, a lot of them were doing rear delts first. Wow. In the back. No problem with that. It's actually pretty good. Yeah, I would alternate it. I don't know. I don't like doing it first. Do you want to the position and spin for the rest of the workout? Yeah. No right or wrong. No, exactly. <laughs> as long as your technique is good. Yeah. Come on. Move wide. Move the hole. There you go. Excellent. It's all about the noises. 10? 15. 15. Oh, good. Super Three. set. Yep. Shoulders should sit. It's good lighting. Excellent. You're in the Juan Diesel Morel lighting. That's his lamp. That's his lamp, yeah. Nice. <laughs> same wow. weight over there? Yeah, same weight. Wow. Beautiful. Second set. Got three. Nice. Second set. 
Mike's doing back and buys. Oh, look at this. He broke Speed it up. Animal. Exactly. <laughs> animal. Oh, my God. I thought this was titanium. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. Come on. Wow. That is Conrad. Wow, Conrad, you got some fans here. Conrad, someone wants to know if you're single. Nope. No. No. Unless his girlfriend's asking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know who it is. <laughs> be a setup. <laughs> yes, yeah, Sadiq, you're in perfect lighting. Oh, he's got a burner account. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Nice. Ah, good set. Damn. Wow. Hormones. Said that. Said that. My wife's hormones could be out of that because, like, if she's coming with me, my hormones are coming out of my skin, and it could go into her. I said, no way. I don't know if that's true. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm staying away from this conversation. Over here. We'll be over here. In the light. How long have you been training with Sadiq? Uh, about a year. Yeah? And with Doc Camp, three years. Doc Camp, okay, three years. Yeah. Perfect. And what about, talk about some of the gains you've made? Because well, last I came, time I saw you look good. We I looked came to good. Bev's four years ago, yeah. I was stuck at 240. Yeah. Now I'm 255. Wow. Quality gains. Stuck at 240 for five years. You look great. We Good job, Camp. Thank you. Thank you. Accessory or not, it's just the pack I worry about. Let's go, baby. Come on. Three more. Come on. Nice. Oh. We get a wide. I think that's one of the biggest weapons I bring in the men's physique division is my width. And my V taper, my small waist, in contrast to my shoulder width. And the full head of hair. Let's not forget about that. He's bringing taper, size, conditioning, and follicles. Yes. Look at that. Follicles. I gotta speak to Follicle chain. <laughs> it's a different division. From when I competed in, it's a way different division. Guys are a lot more rounder. They're fuller, bigger muscle bellies. When I was competing, it was more of a jacked beach body, flowy physique. Uh, now everyone's a lot more muscular. So I really got to bring my A game this year. And you look great now, and you will. Yeah, I think, yeah. I'm gonna, I think I'll be in, at the Olympia in December for because sure. Because as you said, in so. New York, if, well, if I didn't think you looked good, I would say, you look terrible. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't sugarcoat, that's one of my biggest faults. I thought this guy was my friend. I would say, I am, that's why I would tell yeah, you. Nice one of the biggest things, a bodybuilder came to me, he's doing the Olympia, I'm not going to say who, and he said, what do you think? And his friend's like, dog, you look great, you look great. He goes, what do you think? I go... 15th, maybe 16th, I go, and he's like, what? And he was mad at me, and he came in 16th. A lot of sense to the no, I mean, only speak the truth. you tell the only. truth. That's what I, that's what you get from, that's what you get from Steve. Like, you go in to see Steve, and he'll tell you, how do I look? And Steve will tell you, you look her terrible, you look good, and at least you know on stage, you don't expect to <laughs> look terrible. Come on. But Sadiq, you look good. <laughs> That's why I look top three good. <laughs> the only way you know that is when you stand next to <laughs> the two guys. Good. Good. 
four. Come on. Oh, be strong. Three, two, three, one. Three. Nice. You look top three good, but more importantly, you have a physique that most people would aspire to achieve, to look like. Thank you. So that's what, so even with whether you win or not, which you look fantastic, you have a physique that lots of people will look up to and say, I want to look like that yeah, guy because sure. you just have a symmetrically pleasing physique. You know? Good job. Come on. Nice. Benito. Wow. Benito. Get all in together there. Yeah, get it get in as sweaty as possible. <laughs> Give Mike a big hug. Thanks guys for watching. Um, thank you for keeping in touch with our journey. Big thank you to Mike Cam, my forever trainer. Conrad, my brother from another mother. And uh, shout out to everybody. I'll see you in December at the Olympia. Yes, sir. And give us another rundown on where we get your bar. Oh, you can go to Chef Physique Protein Bars. Hit my profile. You can click the link in the bio. Peace out. Frank, thanks for sharing today with us. Appreciate it. Absolutely. How do we get in touch with Mike Camp? Instagram, uh, Doc M Camp. And that's my camp. Thank you, Conrad. Conrad, back to Warsaw. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Good luck, Sadiq. Yo, thank you so much. That was awesome. Sick workout. What's the status? Cap? A little one set of rhomboids. How to exercise on YouTube. I'm glad when you talk dirty. <laughs> Later, buddy. Come on. Hey, Mike, I can't train tomorrow. No, you're going to train Sunday. Is what I'm saying. So, like, I'm going to take my.